There's going to be a written test on the way out. They didn't tell you that, did they? <laughs> Otherwise, you can't leave the building. Well, let's play a little bit of Charlie Patton, because this is uh, a song called uh, Shake It and Break It, but don't let it fall.
country music later as well, where they all did with the fiddles and all that. So um, it was stuff coming from Europe as well that was starting to pick up on and, and integrate it into their blues music. And he played with all the great girl singers of the, of the 20s and 30s who sold a lot of records and became very famous. And, and he played with a lot of other great artists, people like Louis Armstrong and people like that sometimes. So um, he's quite important in the blues, although you wouldn't hear it on that record. And a bit, it's a bit boomy and a bit echoey in here, so you're not really hearing the clarity of the music. <coughs> Blind Willie McTell, your favourite, really, isn't it, this era? And Bob Dylan's. Yeah. See, they're all blind, all of them. <laughs> it's the only way they could earn a living. And they became very good at it. If you listen to, if you listen to, if you can find any um, Blind Willie McTell records, and if anybody's local, there's a place just around the corner I went into yesterday, a second-hand CD shop called Infinity. It's got fantastic blues CDs in there, really cheap. Um, they're all second-hand, but there's nothing wrong with them. And there's, a, there's some Blind Willie McTell there. And this guy, you listen to him. He's got the sweetest voice. And, and lovely player as well. This is called Search in the Desert for the Blues. Um, 